inside. And it's oh, hard with all feel. these cords and things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be out right out here, okay? okay. If you need me, you call for me. Thank okay? You. I will be back though to check on you okay, every thank like 15 so minutes. Much. You're welcome. Oh, you like so Good job. On the first try. So, hi guys. Hi. Oh, wait, let me stop restart. Hi. Hi. And we're back. Yes, and I have a baby. I have this wonderful, handsome little young baby boy. You don't want to put no nipples on the screen because this might go on YouTube. I can put it in. It's not going to affect nothing. Yeah, but I don't want them to have a reason to say anything to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Only so big. Oh my goodness. Mm. Guys, everything went good. And what Butter. time is it now? It's 9 45, probably 9 45. 50. And we went in like 8. He was born in. I, I remember 8 21 is the time. I walked in at 8 45. Yeah. And he was out 9 30. I went in at 8 21. And then something else happened. 9.30, he was out, yeah. breathing, getting all checked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was quick. Mm-hmm. That's what she was saying. She was like, Dr. Bliss is very quick. Mr. Kai is here. Yes, this is, guys, if you don't know already, Mr. Kai Lin, King Fernando. Our third baby boy. No, my ass baby, baby. Mm -hmm. And I got my two ties. I smell that fry. <laughs> I smell that fry tube. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Got your crunchy ice up there, too. Yeah. My pot was so dry. And you know what's so yeah. great? The great thing is, she numbed me up so good. I didn't feel you see the thugging that I felt was a and the pressure and everything. I felt a lot of that would say I didn't feel I didn't feel much of this. This was like really good. It was like butter. Yeah, the only part that was rough is the um, like the what do you call it? Juke? Spinal. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the first part. I don't know what happened. It was hurting. Like, you know, you only supposed to put a little pressure, but it was like hurting. She, she said she had to stick me twice. But I'm glad that went past and that yeah. happened. And yeah. it was but everything else, but she just made sure she made sure I was really numbed up. That's a good thing. She made sure I was really numbed up after me feeling that pain. I'm so happy. I'm so complete. I didn't ask for anything more. Did you see any um, burnt marks on him? I didn't see anything yet, no. Pretty see a little spot in the space. I'm pretty sure we could scan his body in a bit later. Yeah. He's still eating this boy, still going. Anyway, guys, we will we will get back to that one a bit. I can't believe he's still going. I'm just going to enjoy this film a little bit. Hi, mommy. Good Y'all <laughs> believe this person was just pregnant? Look how just last night. Look how she just walk up to the bed and everything. I don't see Mr. Kai over here standing out the window. Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So just guys doing a quick vlog today for baby. Is it day three or day two? Oh, well, he was born on Thursday and today's Saturday, so pick your pick your um your choosing. Anyways, so yeah, baby's here and right now he's feeding. He's so cute. He's so cute. 
and I was just um, noticing how huge his feet are because I haven't um, gotten the chance to really like paid attention to him um, like I don't even know no burnt marks or anything yet I am just now about to um, like explore his little body and look at his little features and stuff like that and it's just so adorable Richard's been picking up all the slack he's been cleaning all the diaper I literally just cleaned my first diaper um, he's been cleaning all the diapers and helping me out throw it at night and stuff like that. You know, the C-section is not an easy thing. Um, but yeah, it's been such a great journey. And um, uh, we're, we're breastfeeding and using formula at the moment because my milk, it was taking a while to come in. But finally, it looked like it's coming in. But the nurses did tell me and the lactation and everybody did tell me that it will eventually come in. So yeah, I'm gonna see if Richard can help me hold the camera so that we can look at his feet together. Come on, come on. Oh, oh my hand's tired. My hand is super tired. Just oh, you can turn it around if you want. Like you can pause and then turn it around. So don't don't mind all of that. But guys, look at this. Look how huge his feet is. I don't know if you can tell, like all the way. Goodness, look at that. I've never seen a baby feet this huge before. Oh my goodness. Oh, look where he get a cut. You can see where he got his cut right down there. Where they prick him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But baby's been doing great so far. Like he's been eating. Um he's been pooping. He's been doing everything just perfectly. He's just so perfect. Oh my goodness. He's a serious baby though. He's about his business. Anyways, guys, that's just my update on day three. Tomorrow morning we leave the hospital. Um, so yeah, that's my update for now. Baby and I are fine. Safe delivery. Everything is going fine with all the blood work and all the vital checks and stuff like that. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos and more update on baby. Hey right, guys, so that's Rich leaving out. Wave bye bye, Rich. <laughs> this is me and baby here. We're gonna let Rich um, take the car down. I said the car down. Take the cart down, and then you can bring the car around, and then they'll bring me and baby downstairs. So, oh my goodness. We're saying au revoir to the hospital. Say ta ta, baby. Mm. Mm, we get to take baby home finally. He's behaving himself. He's such a good boy. Anyways, guys. So, see you soon. Bye. Good morning, guys. So, last day in the hospital. Um. Everything is a mess. Don't worry if you see anything, which is going to clean it up. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to show you what my tummy looked like. So <laughs> I still look very much pregnant. However, it has went down drastically. I don't know if you guys could tell. I feel like I'm blocking the light and everywhere I'm going. But oh my gosh. Um, there's like discoloration. So my tummy is like really um, darker. Um... And then I will show you guys like my uh, stitches. So they removed my stapler. They removed the staplers, and now it's just um, these strips here. So I'll take these out. I think in, no, I don't take these out. Sorry. I will. I will have those. Those will eventually just fall off by its own by itself. My doctor was saying that I have two doctors from the hospital, so I mean from the the center. So one was saying that um leave it on. I mean when you're taking a bath, don't wet it. And one says wet it. So he says you know the one that says don't wet it is old school. Anyways, I've wet it before in the past when I was taking a bath. I've like for the first couple of days I I kept like a plastic over it. But then after that, I've let it, um, because it's going to look yucky and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then what else? What other change? Um, 
Oh yeah, since this is out, the staplers are out. My belly is, of course, a little bit more loose. Or not my belly, but you know, the incision. So, I just sneeze and it hurt like hell. And I've had like a little jiggle, like a little laugh. And yeah, it hurt like hell. So, oh, do I have something here? Um, so, you know, just freshening up now. I have, um, by 10 o'clock is when I'm getting ready to leave. And we just took a bath and just trying to get everything in order um so we can head home and baby can head home with us and baby's relaxing and sleeping i need to turn that light back on nobody got sleep last night nobody got sleep because um, baby switch you know between milk and the infamil and the thing that infamil is hurt in his belly um so he's just been very cranky not sleeping, just very cranky. And I haven't been sleeping. Richard haven't been sleeping. Anyways, guys, I'll let you guys um know once we're out of here and see us leaving and everything like that. Stay tuned.